So we have practiced evaluating functions. Remember the first day you plug in, like if you have a function, you know, f of x equals, remember we did like x squared, right? And then if you say, hey, what's f of negative 1? Then you just plug in negative 1 into that, right? Remember that's we did that first day. You get 1, OK? So problem is, our function is not one equation, it's two fun or two, one function, it's two functions. So if I'm saying f of negative 1, we got to figure out what do we, where do we plug that into? The best way I can describe this is let's look at the graph. Here is the graph. Here is negative 1. Here is the f of x axis. Here is the x axis. When x equals negative 1, now again, forget about what the value is. Which function am I putting a dot on? Am I putting a dot on the cube or the absolute value? The cube. Why am I putting the dot on the cube? Let's go back and look at the domains. The domain says all x values less than or equal to 0. So negative 1 is less than or equal to, to 0, correct? We won't want to put it over here. This is only for x values that are greater than 0. So when we evaluate this function, all we need to do is put it into the top function, because that's the one that satisfies the domain. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Okay. The most common mistake, which happens every single year, is students plug negative 1 into both functions. 